one win in five now for Glasgow Celtic. Just one win in five now for Celtic as Rangers open up a 13-point lead at the top of the Scottish Premiership. But what's going to happen this weekend? We'll take a little look next. Let's give us another prediction show today. We take a look at match number 17 out of the Scottish Premiership, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe and hit your bang out to date with all things Black and Rose related, Scottish Premiership related. Whoa, football related. Here we go here. And a one, Christmas three. That's right, boys and girls. Goodness gracious me, what's gone wrong with Celtic? Just one win in five now uh, as uh, as Rangers pull clear with a comfortable 4 0 win over Ross County. We'll take a close look at those picks in just a second. I want a big, big shout out to the Patriot gang working behind the bloody scenes. Yes, yes, yes. And that special round of applause goes to Stephen McNeil, the latest member of the gang, becoming number 22 for Patreon, with just three shy of a massive goal of becoming uh, 25 patrons for the channel. So if you are interested in becoming one of those latest members of the gang, become the latest best man, best friend for life, check out the links down below, patreon.com forward slash overseas. Uh, and of course, if, if you want to support the channel in another way, there's also, also links to my other social media platforms, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, they're all in there. They're all down in the description. Check it all out. But until then, though, let's get into it. Take a little look, of course, at, of course, how we all got on. Of course, the games, these people Picks were made quite a bit, quite a way back, um, with the game stretched over a, a course of like ten days or so. But anyway, here we bloody go. Not to what, and we all did pretty shitty. I tell you that now. We all did ghastly. Uh, two to four in straight face club. Five plus. Forget about it. Don't even, don't even think about it. Uh, so it kicked all off. It did kick all the way off. Uh, Hibernian against St Johnston. Two two in the end. Uh, Alison McGowan scores. She David Wotherspoon uh, giving uh, St Johnston a couple of goals there. Paul McGain with a couple of goals for Hibs. As it could only muster a two two draw. Shame on them. Actually, with a two to win for uh, Hibs. So we got that one wrong. Uh, Aberdeen, though, again, same same sort of stuff. 1-1 uh, one, one in the end against Hamilton. Uh, goals from Amadeus Dumpy on the score sheet for Hamilton. Ryan Hedges go, uh, gave Aberdeen the lead on that one. 2-0 final score. So wrong, wrong. Uh, next up, of course, Hamilton. Against Kilmarnock ended up. Uh, uh, what did it end up? It ended up. Oh, new new in the end. My picks are on the. No, it ended up as a one 0 win for Hamilton. I actually went with a nil nil on this one. Goals uh, for this one. Hamilton actually. Ross Callaghan gets a score sheet for uh, the hosts on this one. For penalty spot. Clive Dinkum Moda gets himself sent off for Kilmarnock as uh, they suffered a defeat there. Livingston 2 0 winners over Dundee United. Scott Pittman and Marvin Bartley on the score sheet for uh, the hosts. Actually, remember the 1 0, not too bad. Claimed it, claimed it, of course. Next up, Motherwell against uh, Hibbs. It was a 3 0 win for Hibbs. Martin Boyle, Christian Deutsch, and Stephen McGinn on the score sheet. Actually, remember the 1 1 draw. So, uh, yeah, shame on bloody me. Uh, meanwhile, Aberdeen also had a bit of a hiccup against uh, St. Mirren. Only uh, get a draw, 1 1 in. Johnny Hayes on the score sheet. Jamie McGrath on the score sheet for St. Mirren. Uh, Lewis Ferguson getting himself sent off. But the visitors, Aberdeen here. I actually remember the tuna win for Aberdeen, but I uh, got it wrong. Rangers are comfortable winners over Ross County. 4 0 win in the end. Kemal Roof on score sheet. James Tavener, uh, Colin Morris with a big fat OG, and Jermaine Defoe in the 90th minute uh, to put the, the cherry on top. I actually went with a 3 1 win for Rangers. Not too bad. Got the right amount of goals as well. And of course, wrapping up this sort of uh, shocker in there. Christopher uh, uh, St. Johnson, two, uh, 1 1 1 1 draw with Celtic. Over in Glasgow, of course, uh, goals. Christopher Kane on the score sheet for Super Jays and Mohamed El Nuzi getting a late, late equaliser for Celtic at 83rd minute to give themselves a share of the spoils, which really they should be winning these games. So I've got myself two, uh, which is better than some. Uh, so take a look at it, of course, the table as it stands. Rangers 13 points clear off. So they still have two games in hand, win both of those, and guess what? It's not as bad as it looks. Uh, meanwhile, Hibs are into third uh, at the moment, just uh, two points clear or a drift off Celtic into second. Hib uh, Aberdeen are in fourth, uh, fifth, fourth as well, uh, which is one point behind Hibs. Now, at the moment, Hamilton going down, St. Mary not far away either. Ross County also still in the discussion. But that's, of course, match number 16. And, of course, we're going to go into match number 17. Right here, right new. Of course, this is your, uh, your chance to showcase your picks with the Prediction League. Let's get into it. Ivan Stringer did shite. Storm Strainer did poop. Ultra Open Mirror also did ghastly. Mark Chapman did stonking. LG and Cow also did horrific. Uh, Roberto Hoss did poop. Much Spratelli also did shocking. Yannibus did poopski. Hustle Frost also did shite. Nathan Neva also did shocking. Uh, Elm Esquivel did poop. Peepity poopity. Uh, Fernandez has says got a moon. He did alright actually. Shane O'Donnell also did very, very bad. Uh, Matt Gunner did boop with an edit. Uh, we all keep our shocking. Vincent Hong did okay. And Gaming Charlie also did ghastly in Didio. Of course, these are your picks. Where does that put you in the leaderboard? Well, let's take a look at it. Shane O'Donnell, close your bloody eyes, brother. So do you, Mark Chapman and Yannick Buster. And we all keep our close your bloody eyes. Fernando has says got a moon. Lead the charge of Vincent Hong. Also, uh, Azure Kingpins for this week and this week alone. Of course, what does that grand scheme of things do to the channel? The, uh, the prediction league now again. 
I, uh, my, my trusty right arm man, of course, uh, uh, Shepard, of course, edited the document here, and I believe this is the, the correct the rec standard, except for me. I'm not in there just yet, even though it says 25th spot. That's not me. I need to add up. I need to go back and retrace my steps. But as of right here, right now, Matt Gunner is your kingpin alongside Shane O'Donnell. So give them some respect as they have a 61% success rate, I believe. Uh, of course, uh, and again, everyone else is in the chamber. Matt Shepard's up to fifth. Uh, Russell Foster into sub six as well. Elgin Cow just outside the top 10. Of course, that's just now. Of course, we're still plenty of time, still plenty of picks left to get into it. So let's take a, take a little look at the next round of matches, which includes the next six taking place from this Saturday onwards, of course. The Swaloff of the Swaloff uh, coming out of the year 2020. Let's take a look at it. Aberdeen then taking on Ross County. Uh, they played to the 24 times in the past. 15 wins for Aberdeen, seven wins for Ross County, and two bloody draws. Of course, last six, sees five, five wins for Aberdeen, and one win for Ross County. They did play earlier in the campaign back in September, and it wasn't it. Ross County was a three new win for Aberdeen. Last time they played at Potodri. So here, lads. Uh, two one win for Ross County. It was uh, back in 22nd of the second, 2020. And it was a two one win for Ross County. Billy McKay with a couple of goals there. Kurt, Curtis Main for Aberdeen. Uh, Dean Campbell got himself sent off. Ross County have actually lost their last four away matches. Aberdeen have actually scored at least two goals in the last four. They're coming to this uh, without a win in four, just one win in six for Aberdeen. That was against Hibbs. On the flip side, Ross County looking good at the moment. Uh, two defeats in the past six. Uh, and those defeats were against Kilmarnock and Rangers. And they did beat Celtic in the uh, old League Cup, which gave themselves a big old boost as well. Heading into this, 2 to 1 on for Aberdeen. 3 to 1 is your draw. 92 is your draw. Uh, 92 is your away win. Of course, Ross County are struggling at the moment, but a win for them. They could actually go as high as ninth in the tier. But of course, Aberdeen coming to this in fourth and a win for them. They could actually go second in the league, boys and girls. And I think they'll get the win. Uh, 2 to win in the end to potentially put them into uh, top two, but uh, we'll have to. It could even be for 24 hours, uh, depending on what goes on with Hibbs, uh, who take on Hamilton in the Battle of the H's. Of course, played each other 97 times in the past. Uh, 36 wins for Hamilton, uh, 47 wins for Hibbs, and 14 bloody draws. The last six sees nothing about Hamilton. Five for Hibs and one bloody draw. Last time out at Easter Road. It's up here, lads. 3-2 win for uh, Hibs. Uh, goodness gracious me. That was back in uh, the 10th earlier in the year. Of course, Kevin is a bit of a couple of goals. Paul Hannon as well. Ross Callaghan and Brian Potras with a big fat OG. Last time out at Hamilton was a 1-1 draw back in uh, October 2019. Uh, Ross Cunningham from the penalty spot and Stephen Mallion on the score sheet for Hibs. Heading into Hibs have kept a clean sheet in six last eight way matches in the Premier League. They've also scored at least two goals in the last three. They're unbeaten in the last five. Of course, winning three and drawing two. Just one defeat the past four. Four Hamilton that was against Dundee United in the Scottish Prem. Look at the bookies' odds on this one then, shall we? 17 to 4 for Hamilton, 18 to 15 to 8 on for Hibs. Uh, 3 to 1 is your Hamilton draw on this one. Of course, Hibs coming to this in turret, and for them, they could actually go second again for 24 hours. And that's why I'm going with this one, going with a 2 to 1 win for Hibs. And again, like Aberdeen, we'll be uh, leapfrogging the Glaswegian side into second and third spot, respectively. Next up, of course, they were Motherwell up against St. Mirren. They played each other in the past 206 times, 88 wins for Motherwell, 70 wins for uh, St. Mirren, and 48 eight bloody draws. The last six is three for Motherwell, two for St. Mirren, and one bloody draw. Of course, last time out was at St. Mirren earlier in the campaign. It was a 3 new win for Motherwell. Last time at... Uh... I don't know. I know it. I know it. I know whatever, whatever they play. Um, of course, it was a 2-1 win for St. Mirren. That was, of course, back in February 2020. Heading into this, Motherwell without a win, four, losing three, and drawing one on the flip side. St. Mirren unbeaten in six games in all competitions, including the Scottish League Cup and Scottish Premier League as well. Heading into this, of course, the book is also this one, 2019 on for Motherwell. They are the favourites, 23 to 10. Is your draw, 30 to 5. Is your St. Mirren on this one? Of course, St. Mirren coming to this in a bottom spot at the moment. They are digging their heels in on this one. And it went for them. They could actually go as high as ninth in the table. Uh, Aberdeen, uh, Motherwell covered this in fifth, of course, coming table, but a win for them. We'll close the gap into maybe a push for the top four as well. Going with Motherwell on this one, 3-1 win to again end the uh, amazing streak of St. Mirren. Uh, next up, we have St. John's table on Livingston. Of course, played each other in the past 27 times. 14 wins for Super Jays, 9 wins for Livingston, and 4 bloody draws. The last six is 1 win for Super Jays, 3 for Livingston, and 2 draws. Last time I was at Livingston back in uh, September 2020, it was a 2 0 win for Livy. Uh, last time our Super Jays was back in uh, March 2020, it was a 1 0 win. Callum Hendry on the score sheet uh, for the Super Jays in a 1 0 win. Heading is Livingston have actually failed to win the 35 of the last 38 matches away from home, where Super Jays have actually drawn the last three, both home and away. They come into this uh, unbeaten the last five, of course, winning two and drawing three, whereas one would defeat the past six for Livingston, losing to St. At the back end of uh, November, there. So, two sides um, finding it difficult to beat each other or beat anybody or, or get beat. 5 4 for St. Johnson, 90 to 10 is your, your away when that's Livingston, 94 is your draw. Livingston coming to this in ninth in a win for them. They could actually go as high as seventh in the table. The Super Chase coming to this in eighth in a win for them. They also could go as high as sixth in the bloody league. It's tough, very, very tough, but I'm going to go with a draw. That's right, 1 1 in the end. Not going to please anybody that one. Uh, into the final two here, we have Dundee United taking on Rangers downtown. Dice, of course, played each other 185 times in the past. 39 wins for Dundee United, 103 wins for a 
Rangers have 42 draws. The last six sees four wins for Dardanelle United, two for Rangers. No blow draws. Last time I was at Ibrox back in September 2020, it was a 4-0 win for Rangers. Last time at uh, uh, Tannadice, it was a 3-0 win for Dundee United back in 2013 in the Scottish Championship. That is correct. Johnny Russell on scoreship with a couple goals there. John Daly as well. K. Nye Smith as well. And Ian Black getting himself sent off for Rangers. Heading into this Ranger at clean sheet in the last seven matches. They've actually won the last eight on the spin. Rangers have also scored four goals in the last three. They're looking very, very good. Winning four of the past five games. The only hiccup was a draw against Benfica. Uh, of course, in the Europa League. On the flip side, uh, Dundee United just won defeat the past five for them. Uh, and that was, of course, against Livingston just the other day. Quick look at the situation out in the bookies. Bookies are 50 to 1 for Dundee United, 6 to 1 on. Four Rangers, 11 to 2 is your draw. Force Rangers coming to the top of the pops yet to taste defeat, but it went for them. They could actually go uh, 50, 47 points on the book. And what was that? What was it right now? They got 13 points. They could go 60 points lead of Celtic, depending on what goes on with that result. I've gone with Rangers. Of course, I'm 3 1 win in the bloody end. I'm wrapping it up. It'll be Rangers. Uh, Celtic up against Kilmarnock, of course, played each other 240 times, 162 wins for uh, Celtic, uh, 30 wins for Kilmarnock, and 48 bloody draws. The last 65 for Celtic, nothing for Kilmarnock, and one bloody draw, which was a draw back in Kilmarnock in October, of course, 1 1. Last time out at, uh, at Celtic, uh, Celtic Park was a 3 1 win for Celtic. Uh, Ajar, Edward, and Griffiths on the score sheet for Celtic, and 3 1 win. Uh, Eamon Brophy on the score sheet for Kilmarnock, and Alan Powell got himself sent off. That was back in uh, February 2020. Celtic are undefeated in 36 of the last 38 home matches. Also, Kilmarnock have actually third score in five last seven. They're coming to this, though. Kilmarnock. Uh, just one defeat past four in all competition that was against uh, Hamilton just the other day where Celtic without a win in five absolutely clueless uh, toothless at the moment of course Bookie Dawson's from 4 to 1 for Celtic 92 is your draw uh, 72 to 2 as you come on, come on, come into the seventh and win for them. They could go into the top six. Uh, so to come into the second and win for them, could close that gap on Rangers potentially, or at least keep the gap as it is. Going with Celtic, of course, they bounce back with the winning ways with a 3-0 comfortable win to maintain the standard as it is at the moment at the table. That's, of course, my picks for match in number 17 out in the in the, in the Scottish Premiership. Be sure to get your picks in nice and early. This is what the table would look like if I'm bang on the nose, which I have been in the past. I have all been bang on the nose in the past, lads. So, you know what? It could be very, very much the same. Uh, Rangers still lead the charge. 13 points over Celtic again. Two games in hand. Hibs up to third. Aberdeen into fourth. Dundee making a push for top five. Hamilton uh, going down. St. Mary not too far away either. Uh, Motherwell a bit stagnant in sixth spot at the moment, going backwards, we should say. That's my picks, of course. I hope you get your picks in nice and early for the Premiership. Uh, and that's it. Be sure to give the video some love and smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe, of course. Keep it bang up today with all things Scottish Premiership ladies, Black and Rose ladies. Whoa, football great. We're going to all here under a bloody Christmas tree. And of course, if you want to become the latest member of the gang, we're trying to get up to 25 uh, patrons. We're up to 22 now, uh, thanks to Stephen McNeil, who did join just the other day. So I do appreciate Stephen McNeil doing that. And again, if you want to join Stephen and the gang, check out the link down below, patreon.com forward slash so you can check out the links to my Twitter, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm on even on TikTok with a couple of little Bobby Dazzlers out there. If you can find me, let me know if you can find me in the old TikTok down there. And again, uh, what else have I got for you? I think that's it. That's it. all I've got for you. Be sure to bang the thumbs up, bang subscribe, and I'll see you all next time around for some more Scottish fixtures as we head closer to Christmas Day. Until then, I'm out.